Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a handy little trick that you can use when conducting a reverse image search on Google Images. Conducting a reverse image search is a great way to discover some information about something that you've taken a picture of, but you're not quite sure what you've taken a picture of. For example, I just recently wrote this blog post about caterpillars that we found in our parsley plants here in Maine. And I went to the iNaturalist website and did some research and discovered that eventually I'd get a swallowtail butterfly out of these caterpillars. But I wanted to confirm that. I wanted to confirm the information that I found through iNaturalist. So what I did is I went to Google Images and I uploaded a copy of the picture that I took. And this is that copy. I'm going to drop that image in here. And in this case, Google just said it was a pest. And they're not wrong, it is kind of a pest, but I'm looking for more accurate information than that. And you can see down here, we see our visually similar images. This one included a bird, that one includes mountain lion. Uh, we get some other things down here. They're not that great a match. So what you can do when you upload an image like this one, is you can add in some keywords to go along with the image that you uploaded. Now, again, I found that caterpillar in a parsley plant, and I know it's a caterpillar that I'm looking for information about. So I add in the words parsley and caterpillars, and now we have some more accurate matches we can go to our visually similar images here. We can see some more accurate matches. And through these pages that hosted many of these images, I was able to confirm that yes, indeed, that is colloquially known as a parsley caterpillar, and it will turn into a swallowtail butterfly eventually. You can see there's a couple of other links here that you could also jump to. So that's how you can help out Google Images when you conduct a reverse image search. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.